Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, right now we are in Westview, PA. We're at Dollar Tree and we needed to get some Christmas supplies, a couple of things anyway. And I figured while we're here, besides us shopping, even though Kayla doesn't care as much as I do, I'm gonna film you guys a little Christmas video of the Christmas goodies that they have here. You're excited, aren't you? Yeah. Real excited? Yeah. It's been, it's been a long time since I've done anything for Christmas. Well, this year's gonna be different now. We're going to have awesome. some fun. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's go check out the Dollar Tree, or actually, as it says, tree. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go ahead and do that. All righty, and here we are at the tree. It's not a Dollar Tree, it's just a tree. <laughs> What's cool about this location is if you're outside, because they have a lot of windows here, um, you can actually see uh, the backs of the shelves. They put, like, signage up on them to make it look nicer from outside. It's pretty cool. So even though they have advertisements up, you can still see Deck the Halls, Tis the Seas, Enjoy to the World. What's this one say? Make it merry. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty nice looking. Stocking Stuffer Headquarters. Got that right. You just want to put candy, little toys in there. They have Hot Wheels here too. So, Play-Doh. Pretty cool. Alright, let's go inside. This store is a Christmas wonderland in here. Holy cow. I feel like they literally have a lot more in this Dollar Tree than they did in the one in Shaler. This one got a lot of stuff. Oh, these are cool as hell. The solar stake lights. These are sweet. I like these. I guess you gotta pop the thing open and pull the tab out to make them work. So, oh, wait, the tab's right here. That's pretty cool, but how do they regain energy? Is the solar panel inside of them? I guess. That display just had to be done like today. That looks really nice. Nicely done. Fully stocked. I'm digging it. Here is all their wrapping paper. It's just like what the other one had, but I couldn't get it because there were too many people in the way. But they have quite the selection here. next co-worker of mine who had seen that I posted about the Christmas story and Christmas vacation wrapping paper asked me if next time I came to the store if I saw these if I could grab them for them so here you go Eric <laughs> wow look at their selection of gift tags too quite the assortment here I didn't see quite all this stuff at the other one they even have bows for your presents I really like these ones here. The self-adhesive ones with a bow attached. Those are really cool. I'm probably going to get those when I start wrapping gifts. And here's all your gift bags. Giant gift bag. That one's cool. Tissue paper for gift boxes. This is where I normally get it because it's good. You don't you don't need to get expensive stuff. People open up a gift, they want the gift, not the paper and stuff. I know people put work and effort into wrapping up presents. I do too. But still, this is just as nice. I really like this one here with the snowflakes and how they say Merry Christmas on them. That's probably the best one for the value. I like that, but that one's really nice. Oh, candy galore. Peppermint bark. Peanut brittle. When I used to work for Target, I can't tell you how many people would actually ask me for peanut brittle. I'm not exactly a big fan of it, but I guess it's pretty popular with a lot of others. Gumdrops, other candy. Here's her assortment of garland. Same like as the other store. 
bells and bows galore. I like the glittery one. I really like this one here. But again, if you watch my other video, I don't need any more bows. I like this one too. But I don't need any more. I have so many to begin with. I really like these window clings here. Those are pretty cool. Lot to choose from the, at this store. Take a look at their back wall. They actually have quite the uh, selection of decorations, signs, ornaments. It's about the same as the other store, but I feel like there's more here, to be honest. See, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of these tinsel decorations. They're cute and all, but I'm not exactly the biggest fan. These ones aren't too bad. The felt ones aren't too bad. But I'm not exactly a big fan. I, I just, I love the wooden ones, though. Like, they're not actual wood. They're made to look like it. They're more like cardboard stock, I guess you could say. Like, really thick cardboard. But they're cute, though. They look good. They look real. That's good enough for me. I love their ornaments, too. I love the reindeer ones that they have here. This one here is rather bizarre, though. This one. <laughs> it's a little goofy looking, but it's okay. And by the way, yeah, you might have seen them. These were the trees that I couldn't find in the other Dollar Tree. The green ones with snow on them. They had the all-white ones. They didn't have any of these green ones, so I'm here to get these. Flowers, the birds. I actually like these. I have a few of these that I put in a Christmas tree. They're pretty cool. They just clip right onto the branches, like the snowflakes. I used to get these ones a lot too, these uh, six pack of snowflake ornaments. And my brother would break them all when we were young, tossing them around the room. I would do it too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but man, these things would break so easily. But you get six or 10 for a dollar. See, these ones are bigger up here. So you only get six, but these smaller ones where you get 10 of them, those are ones I get. I like these ones with the bells on them, too. Those are really cool. They have all different types of Christmas ornament globes. I like the festive ones here, the decorative ones with the trees and glitter. They have the really big ones here. Those are the ones that I like. You can bounce those things and they don't break. If you really try hard enough, they'll bounce like a ball. <laughs> That didn't do it so good, but still did it though. <laughs> Here are all the ingredients, if you want to say that, to building your own little Dollar Tree Christmas tree. You know, I'm actually kind of tempted to do this. Make like a little one to put in one of the windows. That means we'll have three Christmas trees because I have a three foot one or two foot one for the bedroom. And then we're going to have our main one in the living room. I could put a little one like this in the kitchen or in the window. No shame in my Christmas game. I really love these things. Everything here is just so cool. And for a dollar a piece. It's amazing the cool finds at Dollar Tree. You could go to the bigger stores like Walmart or Target and essentially buy the same thing for more money there. That's more money that goes into the CEO's pockets. Candy fix. Here you go. Man, you can really smell the lifesavers. I could smell those ones like crazy. I wonder if a bag is ripped open. <laughs> Candy canes galore. I love candy canes, but I think they're overrated, honestly. Like, we get them, but they end up getting thrown away half the time. I really, I really like those ones they used to have that were, like, cherry flavored. I think it was, like, Lifesavers brand, or no, it was Jolly Ranchers. They came out mm -hmm. with That's cool. I like the Rudolph candy. They have Cold Stone. Yep. They have Cold Stone. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like in the midst of all this Christmas stuff, they have one little display that Kayla's blocking. Oh, sorry. Well, no, you're fine. <laughs> of fall and Thanksgiving stuff. Still cool, though. <laughs> okay, you can block the shot again, Kayla. I'm better than the Christmas stuff. No, just kidding. 
<laughs> You'd rather look at me than the Christmas stuff. Yeah, Just sure. Like... Sure, why not? Glitter ribbon, curling ribbon, wire edged ribbon, all different kinds for decorating your Christmas gifts. And here's all the goodies, the party supplies here. The god awful looking novelty, ugly sweater, appropriate ties. I like the Rudolph uh, nose that they have here. Those are cool. I can already tell my aunt will have these. These are those, it's like a necklace. Yes. And my aunt will bring those to bowling, I'm sure, for probably these too. Mm -hmm. My aunt loves to buy this stuff. Oh my god, the paddle ball, that's cool. And again, those. I have stories about the paddle ball where um, my ex best friend, like, she, we had a paddle ball we got from the dollar store or something. She cut the strings from <laughs> the ball where it was just like the ball. She hit me with it. <laughs> oh my god. This one I'm buying. I like this one. I didn't see this at the other one. I think my grandparents had that one. I like a long that. Time ago. See, I, I like that's the one I saw was that one, but I didn't see this one. I gotta grab that one. That's cool. Cookie cutters, mm -hmm. the plates are cool. Oh, uh, when payday comes, I'll be raiding this place. I want one of these. I want one of these bowls here really bad. I like the one with the snowman, but I like the darker one with Santa on it. So I'm definitely going to grab one of those. And here is the infamous create your own ornament and crafts aisle for the holidays. I have that feeling we're going to be making some of these. Yes, we should. I think that would be really cool. I like the mason jar idea too, but the ornaments, that'll be really cool to do. I like those little baskets. Those little baskets are awesome. Bottles are cool too for the people who do DIY stuff for Christmas, like the mm -hmm. soups and the can, like the soups and the bottles and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I know a lot of people give like homemade like soaps and mm -hmm. soups and pastas, and they put them in the bath. The black bags cannot talk. <laughs> uh, welcome to my bottles. world. I can't talk ever. Ooh, a little candy dish here. I like that. Oh, you know, if you and I we eat way more candy than that. Yeah, we need That's a bigger like one dish. <laughs> Uh, do I do it? Yeah, why not? I like that one. That one's nice and silent. I think that one ended up making me really annoyed. I know. Nate did one in one of his videos where he, like, activated, like, a bunch of them, and they were all going to town. <laughs> oh, wow, I really like these. These are really cool to, like, put, like, on a, put on a table. It's like a centerpiece. You could even put those, like, in the windows. I, I find a lot of places to put these and these are pretty cool too you could clip on you can even clip them on it like your christmas tree or like a mailbox or something and it goes along like with those uh mason jars back there i've seen people mm -hmm. use like mason jars as like flower like as like a thing to hold your flowers in and they could use that mm -hmm. that. that would be a really cool centerpiece excellent selection here excellent selection i like how all these end caps are loaded with Christmas stuff. You got your Christmas cards here on this one. And then here you got your little miniature town, village, homes, people. Like you saw me nab one of everything at the other store. Now the glittered snow, I thought about getting that, but our window seal that I'm gonna put this on is already white in color, so I don't really need that, to be honest. The little plush animals are cool. I didn't see those at the other one. <laughs> I wish there was like a husky in there because like huskies are like my favorites. Mm-hmm. Then this one has cups. The other one just had mugs. Holiday cookies. Hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. Oh man. Got solar lights galore. And they got little shoebox size bins too. And those motion activated Christmas ornaments. I think that would be a really bad idea. So give you Give you a chance to try it, yeah. That ain't too bad. Let's try the Santa one here. I didn't try him at the other one. <laughs> that took a while. Oh, that, never mind. So it's the same thing. That's still cool though. There's these ones too. <laughs> okay. LED activated light. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up our little look here at the tree. Dollar tree, that is. 
I love that. Every Dollar Tree I go to, their lights are blown out on some of the letters, literally. I have a montage of Dollar Tree storefronts that I filmed, and I'm going to put that in the weekend show, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, yeah, that, that was a cool little look. I felt like they had a lot more stuff at this one compared to Shaler, even though she wasn't with me on my Shaler trip. Uh, I w she was at work, and that's when I ran out there and did that. So, But still good selection here. I know most of them usually get the same things, but sometimes you find something different at one Dollar Tree versus another. And again, if you're living on a budget too, the quality of products here are great for a dollar. I mean, geez, you can walk out of there $20. You got 20 different items and it's, it's not too bad. So pretty cool. Anyway, that's it guys. We're going to wrap up this video. Actually, no, I kid. You know why? Because, hold on, let me get out of the car for one second. I'm going to show you something. Yeah, look behind me. <laughs> Kmart. Yeah, guys, isn't it great? The Westview Kmart, which is a U-Haul. Which I've watched this become more and more of a U-Haul and less and less of a Kmart over the course of the year. Other than all the signage still being up, except on the left-hand side of the building where they removed the garden center signage. Now, isn't this just a lovely site? All the U-Haul stuff here. Like, anybody really uses this. I, I haven't seen anybody use any of these beautiful, wonderful, aesthetically pleasing tin little storage units that they have out in the parking lot here, which are absolutely god-awful. So, you know, instead of keeping the Kmart open for the locals, like people that might be on that bus that just shot across the screen here. And for some that live up in that high rise up there that really don't have any transportation, they relied on this, as well as that vintage Giant Eagle, which I will do in another video soon. Wait till you see how 90s it still is in there. But yeah, great view of the Kmart. It sucks. <laughs> so anyway there's that yeah and there's your garden shop label scar obviously it was painted a couple of times around the letters because you can actually see where it was like white white and then kind of gray white and then the bricks that the garden shop signs were on oh, man. ironically though the little kmark is still lit on the side of the building though over here let me go over here Whoop. There you go, right next to U-Haul. The Kmart U-Haul. Or U-Haul K. Molly, your hand is like so close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kayla. All right, so there you go. There's the look at Dollar Tree and the Kmart, not U-Haul, Kmart. And uh, anyway, we hope you enjoyed that video. And with that said, we are going to take off this time. So that said, take care and stay awesome. And have a Kmart-licious day. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.